Hey there guys, it's Adam from HWB here with another video, and if you could read by the title of the video, um, it says how to remove stains from your wrestling figures. <clears throat> um, big one is like when you play with them, you see like how they get like those kind of spots there, stains, um, or just ones that they came out of the factory with, uh, for instance, Watchman had like this dot on his back, and yeah, so, um, things you're going to need is... A Q-tip, probably a couple of them, and some nail polish remover. <coughs> Only need a little bit. Um, I've seen other videos on this, so I do one because you know people don't quite do it as often. So you should get in a little dip. Okay, wipe it off the edges. You don't want too much. You definitely don't want it splashing. You could have one side wet and keep one side wet uh, with nail polish remover, right? Uh, a piece of toilet paper. Just dry it off. You don't want it like soaking. And you know what? Let's try it out. Big show. And I have done this before, guys, so don't worry. So now you can see. Rub it a little bit. It'll come right off. And if they don't, you just need a little bit more. You know, you have some, like, here on his arms. And right now, this is, like, dry. So, what I need to do is dip that in there again. <coughs> like, you know, the picture, for some reason, has just so many. You know, once, once they wipe off, you just dry it. Because if they're on there for too long, the uh, nail polish remover it will mess up the plastic. Which I personally did not find out from trial, trial and error. I found out from somebody else's video. Uh, they're like, yeah guys, you don't want to do that. I don't want to have it on there for too long. Look, It's like a magic eraser. But you want to remember exactly where you put them so you can dry it off. Very, very helpful. Um, figures get dirty and whatnot, you know. It happens to all of us. Okay, that is not coming off, so I'll have to work with that later, maybe off camera. But the rest of it comes off pretty easily. <coughs> Next, what we'll do is the Macho Man. Just a little bit. And I'll bring this close to the camera so you guys can see a little bit better. There's the stain, and. Gone. Oh, hey there, buddy. You might not want to do that. Okay, so I hashtag get memed. No, I get off. Just a little bit of those. You know, it's basically marks and paint flaws. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll just basically be good with that. After like two or three uses, you need to throw away the Q-tip. People use cotton swabs, they use towels. Uh, I just use Q-tips because, you know, they use them for everything. So now let's get, oh yeah, here we go. Great. Uh, two of them are in here that are like super, super, uh, I don't even know what the correct word is. I think my folks in the head, they have like a whole bunch of them. So, you know, let's just. This also works if you want to remove decals. I prefer to use it for that. I personally do not because, well, I don't need to remove decals yet. But you know, if I do, I guess I will. Okay. <coughs> Look at that. We're almost done. I'm going to ride back. You know, just kind of work it out. It's really, really cool, actually, how it works. You know, come over here to the side of the head. Look at that just erases this big one here. I think it's slowly shrinking. Should do a little bit more, which I have no idea what the stuff is made out of. Uh, must be really strong. Yeah, 
so instead of it being quiet and creepy, you know, I'll kind of talk over it. Uh, Leo Rush came back into NXT. Um, I want to say it was last night. Really, really happy to see that WWE didn't release him because I'd be upset. But uh, speaking about releases, Jim Johnson got released from WWE and is being replaced by CFOs. I call them CFOs just because of the money sign. CF money. Um, CFO money. Whatever, whatever you want to call it. Next we have Brock Lesnar. That's quite a few stains and. <clears throat> gets one Q-tip all to himself. Also, uh, apparently Finn Balor still isn't over yet, which is pretty stupid in my opinion. Like, anybody is over, it's Finn. Like, just look at his sales uh, on WWE.com. You know, his shirts. The, 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 the dude's incredible. Like, seriously. I, I gotta say Finn Balor is one of the best the best and that's saying something because I also like Kevin Owens I, I don't have like a preference of wrestlers you know for some reason that orange stain whatever the heck that is doesn't want to come off also for some reason this one has a coconut smell gotta ask my mom about that and I think it's coming off. And if it doesn't, guys, I guess it's okay. You know, it's not like the end of the world if you have like a stain or two on your fingers. There's a whole bunch of different ways to get the stains off. At least I think. Oh, uh, no, you might have to do some like deep sea diving to find some uh, other YouTube channels. Cause I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one that you guys watch. Although that would be pretty flattering. But anyways, that's... Uh, Heads are so much cleaner. It works really well if you get like a brand new figure and this dude is like a giant black slash on him. It's as annoying as it is, it's amazing what nail polish remover can do. This one is, um, don't know what brand that is, but it's blue and it smells funky. Make sure you guys clean up after yourselves and whatnot. Let's compare it first. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably be this weekend. Ciao.